Hello everyone, friends. If you've ever tried to create layered clothing in Roblox, then you know how extremely difficult it is to create inner and outer cages, let alone attach it all to the rig. But with the recent update in Avatar Setup, this can be done literally in two clicks. Today, I will show you how to do it. First of all, we'll need Blender and Roblox Studio programs to get started with our project. Also, in the video, I'll be using an export add-on and a mannequin template to illustrate the steps. You can see this on the screen. All these resources are from the CJ Noob channel, and I'll leave all the links to them and his videos in the description. Let's start by opening Blender and the mannequin template itself. It won't be very useful to us, but it's a good base. We hide what we don't need. We leave only one cage. This will be the body of our future character. Next, I have already modeled the pants. You just take the clothing you have, carefully place the item directly onto the mannequin, ensuring that it fits as closely as possible to the figure of the character, thereby accurately representing the intended appearance and enhancing the overall presentation of the design. Next, to prevent any possible conflicts or confusion, we need to rename the entity currently referred to as the cage. Let's simply call it body. Since we have both a body and pants in our 3D model, we can simply export these components together as a single unified mesh file, in this demonstration, I utilize the export visible to add-on to efficiently carry out the export operation. I use both BX and the add-on because the add-on helps to automatically adjust the scale effectively and streamline the process. And all other aspects, well, it's just faster to do it with one click. Now it's necessary to move to Roblox Studio. Alright, we're now moved to Roblox Studio. Now we need to import our two meshes. To do this, we click Import 3D, this window opens, I uncheck Upload to Roblox. If you have, you have used the add-on, then everything should scale correctly. We wait for it to load, so here are our models. To ensure everything works correctly, we need to create a folder. In order to achieve this, we go to Workspace, click on the plus icon, and then select the folder. We are going to move our model into this specific designated folder today. Now that we've moved everything into a folder, we can proceed with organization. It is necessary for us to separate the body from the pants, and to achieve this, I then take out the pants. I move them into the folder, I right click and... Here I select the group to be used as a model. From now on, I have chosen to name it body and I will consistently use this name in all future references and discussions. And the pants? What about the pants? Next, we are ready to proceed to water setup. Here, this window appears on your screen. Butterstapa, we need to select the entire folder carefully. Next. It is important to correctly set the type for the body as body and for the pants as layered. Additionally, in this section, you can also choose the Rigid option to customize further. Rigid indicates your intention to create an accessory, meaning that if you aim to design, for example, a specific type of accessory, this option is appropriate. A clothing element such as an accessory like a hat or weapon that will be attached to the character, then you select Rigid here accordingly. Next, click the Setup button. We need to patiently wait for it to fully load before we can proceed further. Our model has successfully loaded, and upon inspection, we can clearly observe that both the body and the pants themselves are functioning correctly, ensuring that all components are operating as intended without any issues. We can check it on various test animations. Additionally, we will try to put them on other characters. Subtitles created by Dima Torzok. No response as no sentence was provided to adjust. So everything is displayed correctly. We'll also add it to the girl, let's see. Everything is working. In principle, this is suitable for any type of clothing, for various t-shirts and pants. Some jackets and shirts are available for purchase, but everything works absolutely wonderfully in functionality and style. Well, if you need any other guide, be sure to write about it in the comments. Thanks for watching. If the guide helped, give a like, subscribe and check the description. There are links to all resources there. Oh, and I almost forgot. 
You can subscribe to my Telegram channel as well as the project's Telegram channel, ask your questions, and follow the project's news. See you in the next lesson.